in case you you missed all the references earlier, uh, they laid it out for you right there. I'm going outside to get some air, because that's what I need right now. And this is why I leveled up uh, the death blows when I did. Plus, I didn't really have time to go through all these cutscenes. But yeah, now you're pretty much l with uh, just Satan. Um, you can't you can't level up Bart right now. Not that I needed to, but you know I wanted to level up when you guys should level up as well. It's best not to worry about it. You did all you could at the time. The young one will understand. No, he could not have dreamed of it. The Maison knew. Yes, I did. I thought it was best to stay quiet. It, yeah, it's not really your place to, to go through all that. So, um... I don't really understand this scene right here. Uh, that, that Bart needs to be by himself to deal with what he just heard. I mean, he just heard a story about a dude he just met, and he needs time to contemplate it, or he needs time to understand why Sigurd was has been somewhere else without him. You know, I'm just I'm just confused why he needs to be out here by himself. But right, well, yeah, it's about Sig mostly. Okay, that's fine. Are you still suspicious of Sigurd? Are you? It was just so sudden. Like that we were childhood rival- Isn't he like 60 years older than you, dude? Whatever. Yeah, there's no way you guys are the same age. I'm just calling that right now. Maybe in game logic you guys are the same age, but there's no way. And he was cooperating with one of Gebler's generals. Furthermore, behind Gebler was a country that you had never even heard of. Right, Solaris. What are you picking on me, foe? What I'm saying is this. If you think about how he feels, then you should see why he could not talk about this with you until now. Simply maintain our self Yeah. The military powers of immense. So Sigurd was probably thinking ahead. First, he was probably concentrating on taking care of the problems here on the continent of Ignis. Once things were settled here, it would give him a stronger foundation to deal with Sarlaris later, which is a much better plan than rushing straight into a war we he knew we could not win. Quite logical, really. Logic. It is not like we are newly acquainted, is it? No, they've known each other for a long time, apparently. And apparently you need to change your name when you come down to the surface. I kind of want to know what Sigurd's real name is. Is it really Sigurd? D is, did he just not change it? The Rams of Sky was supposed to be a star of hope or something, wasn't he? Something like that. You know, what did happen? Then I realized his way of thinking really was not that much of a change from the previous system. Basically, the only difference was whether they stressed people's ranks and class or their skill. It was still no different from what Soros itself had been doing until then. Uh, he's an elitist. I don't think I like him much either, especially since he tried to kick my ass. That's usually not a good sign on whether or not you're going to like somebody. If the first time they meet you, they're like, on guard. That's usually not a good sign. Um, I'm pretty sure we will too. I'm just saying that now. There's still Solaris to deal with. Right. So apparently we have to take on two countries all by ourselves. It's going to be awesome with just the three of us. I try to get help from a greater number of people. Like who? Like you think we need a fourth? We should get a fourth. To vanquish Gabler first game thy throne. Meh. Nah. 
maybe this time I did something about that. And everybody in in formation now. So yes, this is the second time here that they're like, hey, no, 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 seriously. You should prepare for a big battle. And uh, the next place you want to go is inside here. I went to the tool shop to borrow a table. The owner said if we need anything for the young master, just ask for it. Oh. Nice. I borrowed stuff from there and got into big trouble. Borrowed? What did you take? You don't even remember? Nice. Um, fireworks in a toy boat is not exactly navy, but it's a hell of a lot better than how I played it. I pretended the lake was the open sea and I was the fleet commander. Little did I know that I was all wrong. I'd be sailing a boat in the sand. Oh, we got battle music. Like war preparation music right here. This is good stuff. Gebler is the big problem. Ramses is headed toward achieving his goals. That he is now commander of Gebler is proof of that. A normal man could not progress so quickly through that country's organization. I don't know what that means. It seems to imply that he is not a normal man. Maybe they just mean that he's like powerful, but it sounds like something a little more than that, considering that you guys aren't necessarily human, apparently. Let's just concentrate on Chicown. We have to get rid of Khan, then we can take on the Borg. With our present strength, we should be able to hold off the Royal Guard forces. Okay, how to deal with Gebler in the meantime? They will most likely move at Shikhan's request. They're not just going to sit by and watch quietly. Can I have a look? Yes, the map must be looked at from this angle. Otherwise, I cannot figure it out. We want Gebler to leave for a, short, for a while, at least until we are able to take back the Royal Capital. Okay. These are the Gebler units currently in Ave. I assume the yellow ones, based on the map. Okay, so we have the, the Western Guards. I was going to say the Northwestern Force, but I was wrong. And then the... Isn't that Bledovic there? The Royal Capital Defense Force. And I assume the, the spinning pyramid is, is the capital. And then... Uh, you just along the front line at the border with Kislev. So there's Kislev to the north there. There are three main groups. These are made up of a mix of Gebler and other forces. Only two of these are very large. Which two? Okay, so I would have guessed the two northern ones, but apparently they really want to defend the capital and then the, the front line, of course. Um, Apparently the one at Nissan are a little more than a surveillance team. They misspelled surveillance, but whatever. In order to recapture the royal capital, it will be necessary to draw these defense views away from Bledovic because if you kill the king, it doesn't really matter how many pieces are left on the board, apparently. This works just like chess, and, you know, unlike real life. Okay, we captured some there, and what if we use the Kislev gears to make a raid on the Western Guard here at the border with Nissan? That will make it look like Kislev is invading and is, is going from the northwest, which would make it seem like Nissan's on their side, right? Right, can we move them from the center? Nissan will just have to appear to line with Kislev, that's what I thought. Yeah, wouldn't that make Nissan bait? That's not necessarily a good thing. These people are weak as hell here. Shikan is very sensitive to Nissan and Kislev's actions. If Nissan starts moving, he'll probably leave it to Gabler, but... Of course, I did not wish to do that from the beginning, but looking at the situation, you have to be willing to go that far. 
That's not necessarily the answer I wanted to hear, Doc. We infiltrate into the capital. To take out Shikan, we'll have to meet up with our agents already in the city. Okay. What are we for doing? The frontline units along Kisla's border. Ah, what about them? Um. Hopefully Kisla will, will be taking care of that? No? Shouldn't they? Kfeinzo. What? Damn you and your German words. It's been in service since the ring of the last king because of sorry the whole year is going to be invincible fleet. Oh, you know what that means. Oh, we're taking that on. We're taking that on head on. That's not that's not something that's going to be taken out off screen. That's something we're going to have to do. So that ship's over there with key slide. Feel so down. I simply wanted you to see the current distribution of force in the area. Even in the worst case that they do come, there will not be such great a problem. Why not? Uh, I have some additional information about all these border fleet. The former of a supreme commander was transferred there. Van Vanderkam? Yeah, Vanderkam. The guy with the giant plus on his face. The Founder Count that was in Jugend. The very same. So is he like the fourth element that you guys were talking about? Founder Count? He kind of sucks. Particularly following the introduction of Gears. Yeah, he's not a big fan. He will never stray from his dependence on large naval guards. He's stubborn. He is all size and no real military power. An excellent target for pirates. Ah, oh, we're gonna beat him with a sand submarine, aren't we? Ah, oh, this is gonna make my head hurt. Just kidding. The number of gears assigned to the fleet seems to have been reduced. How gallant of him to be so self-righteous! It'll be fun taunting him. Sweet. Satan, do you think we can? he can strike our gear forces? It is not a problem. Even with Vandercom, we have enough forces left to pull off the feint. However, it would not be wise to underestimate our opponents. So basically, we're going to split our forces along the, the top two forces there? Is that what we're talking about? Here's what we'll do. Okay, let's see. Apart from our main unit headed, heading for Bledovic, we must keep the fleet at the Kislev border from returning to the capital. So we're going to send somebody there to prevent their return. We're not going to attack them from the Kislev side on that one? Okay, so we're having three units? A small force is best. Okay. So, just one of us? What if Faye leads a group of gears there? So Faye and a uh, random company that shall probably never get named. What well, Faye, Faye? Well.